Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's me, Torley Linden, and yeah, I've got a guy avatar this time. I have lots of avatars. It's so fun to have such a diverse selection in Second Life, lots of choice. Well, welcome back to another tip of the week. I'm going to show you this time some lovely options under the tools menu, which will help you build better and interact with objects in the world easier. Now, these things aren't really well documented, which is exactly why I'm doing this. Let me tear it off. You notice I just click that line to pull it off so I can have it to the side. Very handy there. So we're going to have a look at these three options. Whoop. These ones, show hidden selection, show light radius for selection, and show selection beam. Let me just uncheck those for now, because I'll show you the before and after effects. So let me start now by resing. I'm just going to right click and, you know, create a cube. Voila, it all begins with a cube, right? So we have this, and I can, I'll just blanket the texture. So, and maybe to make it a little bit darker. Okay, so you can see the yellow glow, and when we're building in Second Life and moving objects around, it's a bit tricky because our screens, the monitors we work on, are two-dimensional, but we're interacting in a 3D space. Well, what if you want to see what's behind there, right? You can rotate, but you can also, if you click Show Hidden Selection, watch what that does, it'll show you the outline of what's behind the object. It'll also do this for any other kinds of forms of object. It does this for everything. So if you make it a, a torus, which is kind of more complex, and you, for example, let me uh, increase the revolutions, Increase the geometry. There we go. See, you can see that it is curved like this, and you can see right through. So this helps when aligning certain uh, certain sorts of objects. Even though you don't build things yourself, if you're going to move them around, let me get some uh, something more complicated from inventory. Ooh, okay, uh, okay, some sort of chair maybe. Yeah, I'll just. Ooh, okay, these ones are nice. Yeah, I remember this. This is a classic. Okay, so I got a chair here. It's a nice textured chair, and it's made out of several prims. Now, if I'm selecting it, now you can see the insides, the stuff that would normally be hidden inside of it, right? So that can help to align things, move them around. And if I want to turn that off, of course, I just go back here and I just, there we go, see? And that's also useful to turn it off if you think too, things are getting too cluttery. So that's why we provide it as an option. Isn't that fun? Now then, let's have a look, close that, clutter it, at this one, show light radius for selection. You may already know how to do light objects. And if you go to Edit, Menu, Preferences, and into the Graphics Detail tab, you see Lighting Detail. I always have this set to On. You need a supported graphics card to have this, but make sure to set to Nearby Local Lights, because what that means is, if you create a new object, you go to the Features tab here when you're editing. Normally it's closed, but if you go to Edit, right, then click the Features tab. Very easy, see? <laughs> then you click Light. So. It's not too visible in the daytime. But let's go to world menu here, for sun to midnight. You can see there's a light. See, click, 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 there's a light. Very clearly a light. So I'll make the light a different color. I like uh, hot pink like that. And for example, say you're building or moving a lamp and you want to know how far that light goes. Well, you can eyeball it, you can take a guess. But you can also click show light radius for selection. And you see, it's got a, a sphere around it, which shows how far that extends, which seems actually further than the visible range, but it's because there ha it has a fall off. It gently sort of falls off at the edges. See, you turn it off, there's no light, and you turn on, there it shows the, the range of that. So if we decrease things like the radius, notice how that gets smaller, right? So that's exactly what it is, show light radius for selection. Of course, increasing the, the fall off. These other values won't change it, but it will make it more prominent at the edge. Let me go back in the bubble. Let me move the radius back up. If you ever played with lights, it's, it's great fun. So if I change the fall off, see, so notice it gets more prominent. Yeah, so that's useful for moving lamps and things like that. You could select other people's objects that you don't own to see their light radius too, in case you think they're kind of overlapping too much, and various uses like that. Now let me go back to the world menu and noon so I can show you the next tip. Oh, and by the way, in case I didn't emphasize it enough, yes, it's very useful if you want to locally control the day, world, for sun, and choose any one of these. It's uh, it's local to your viewer, which means other residents won't see it, only you will, but it's good if things are getting too dark and you want to brighten stuff up for yourself. Personalize your world. <laughs> Creativity. So this next one is useful in a lot of purposes. Show selection beam. This one's on by default because you know there's normally these dots, right? These dots that when you're selecting objects, when you're pointing at other people and things like that, you're going to see these dots. But if you think they get in the way and they're distracting, of course you just 
turn that off. Simple as that, and I'm sure you're going to think of some uses for that little one. So that was pretty quick and easy, wasn't it? Three simple features to, you can use in your second life that aren't really understood well, but now that you know, go forth and be empowered. <laughs> So just a reminder, uh, next week I won't be doing a tip of the week because I'm on vacation with my beloved wife. Mmm, love. <laughs> but I'll see you the week after that. And thank you graciously for watching these tips. Please keep the feedback coming. I really enjoy it and really enjoy helping you have a better second life. <laughs>